In Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot's title character says, what one does when faced with the truth is more difficult than you'd think. And that basically sums up her history with Hollywood casting, which was not always easy. No, but it's what I'm going to do. Gadot, who was born and raised in Rosh Hayan, Israel, had her first audition for the 2008 James Bond movie Quantum of Solace for the role of Camille that eventually went to Ukraine's Olga Karolinko. Fortunately, that casting director remembered Gadot and asked her to audition for Giselle in 2009's Fast and Furious. In the ensuing years, Gadot balanced three more fast movies with Israeli series and other American movies like Date Night and Night and Day. Don't speak to me like that. Gadot was offered the supporting role of villain Feora Ohl in 2013's Man of Steel, but turned it down due to being pregnant, and Germany's Antje Trau took the role. Gadot then endeavored to enter the superhero world with 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy. She auditioned for a role that would require her to, quote, shave my head and then will color me in blue paint. James Gunn has said he doesn't remember if she auditioned for Nebula, which eventually went to Karen Gillan. The following year, Gadot went through another long audition process to play Imperator Furiosa in Mad Max Fury Road. In the end, though, she was runner-up to Charlize Theron. Yeah, well, I got unlucky. It was around that time, after constant back-and-forth traveling from Israel to Hollywood and just missing out, that Gadot told her husband she was considering leaving acting. Fortunately, Man of Steel director Zack Snyder remembered her and requested she audition for a secret role in his next DC Comics movie. At one point, Gadot thought she was testing for Catwoman, but eventually discovered it was for Wonder Woman when she was flown in to screen test with Ben Affleck. A bit a little busy. Gadot debuted as the iconic character in Snyder's Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice in 2016, before toplining the massively successful Wonder Woman in 2017 and Justice League months later. The lasso of Hastia compels you to reveal the truth. Gadot picks up the lasso once again for Wonder Woman 1984, one of several highly anticipated movies on her calendar. It also includes director Kenneth Branagh's Death on the Nile with Army Hammer and Netflix's Red Notice with Ryan Reynolds and The Rock. Gadot is also set to return to the small screen in an Apple TV Plus limited series about actress and inventor Hedy Lamarr. It's a good thing, a wondrous thing, that Gal Gadot kept auditioning. I think that was beautiful.